Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have a quick Lightroom tutorial for Instagram shooters. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do the white border effect directly from within Lightroom. All you have to do is use the print module. So let's take a look. So to add a white border to your image without having to leave Lightroom, what we're going to do is we're going to use the print module. So this is all very straightforward. We'll start with this image here. So let me just hop over to the print module in Lightroom. So here I have kind of whatever the last default was. So the first thing we need to do is we want to make a square sized frame. So I'm going to go down here to page setup and we have this set format for any printer. Um, and what I want to do is make a custom size. So we go down here to manage custom sizes and you can see I've already done this, but we're going to, we'll do a new one just so we can see. So manage custom sizes. Now, I'm doing this on a Mac, and this process may be different on a PC. I don't have a PC to try this on, so I'm sorry if this doesn't work the same way. Some people get quite irate at me for not pointing that out. So anyway, so this is one I've made earlier. So we have it set to uh, 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. And the important thing here is to set all our margins to zero. So if you don't have a preset already, all you have to do is create a new one and make sure you create a new one before you change the settings. So we're just going to set this to 100. No, we don't want a thousand, 100 millimeters and 100 and make sure we set all the borders to zero. And that's the most important thing. Okay. And then we can just rename this square two. Okay. And then click okay. So once we have that set up, um, I'm going to set this back on portrait. Um, okay. So click okay. So then we end up with something like this. So before we do anything else, the most important thing to do is make sure you have it set to print to file. So click here, set us to print to file. Now how this is set up will depend on what your previous settings were for the last one. So let's start at the top over here in our settings and we want, we're going to turn off stroke border and I want to make sure you turn off rotate to fit as well. Um, and then the next thing we want to do is we're going to set all these margins to zero. Okay, and then in here cell size, we want to set this to the maximum. So, okay, and then the next thing we want to do is, if you scroll down to the bottom, just make sure your print resolution is set fairly high. In this case, I have it set to 600 PPI. That's probably enough, but you can set a higher if you want, um, if you want a higher resolution image, because it all kind of depends on what you set your page size as. Um, I set it to 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters, because it's just, it's handy, because we can then, have a percentage of that, just kind of to make it easy to work out the other things. Um, you'll see a white border here around the edge. Don't mind that, that's not actually going to be in the final image. So if you like your um, images basically on a square with nothing to either side of it, um, you can use this exactly like this. Um, if you want a small margin on it, you can actually just shrink the cell size slightly. So maybe set this to 95. 95. So there we have kind of a version with a very slight border on it. Now, the beauty of this setup is it will work for vertical images as well. But first, what we want to do is actually save this as a preset. So if you go up to the template browser over here and click on new template and save this as Instagram square, and I just say border. Okay, great. Okay, so now all we have to do is set this preset the next time we want to use an image. So um, if I select a vertical image, so let me see if I can find a vertical image. So let's say this, you can see it works for vertical images as well. And the beauty of this is you can actually select multiple images and export them all at once. So once you've done this, once you've set this up, all you have to do is go print a file and then just save it somewhere. Um, and we'll call this Nice, because that's where it was from. And there we have it. There is our photo. We can now upload to Instagram. And if I hop over to the finder here, there is our exported photo. So once you have exported your image, you can upload it to Instagram, either from your phone or from your computer's web browser. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you found this useful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. See you next time. Bye.